Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Elite. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can grind the Shape Shifters Crafting Upgrade. This is gonna be SBC. Um, that is gonna be really easy to make for the next 18 days. We're gonna show you how to do it and also how to unlock this amazing looking Bomba card uh, that is in the objective section. If you complete that SBC that we're gonna show you today 50 times, you get this card along with all these bonus packs along the way. So feel free to pause on any one of these packs if you're trying to see the reward. Um, those are the rewards throughout there that people are working towards. How can you do that? So let's go over that real quick. If you do enjoy, smack like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can get 25 likes on this video. So let's get it. 80 plus double upgrade is this pack. You need nine gold players. They can be common. They can be rare. They can be gold Libertadores. They can be gold Sudamericana. It really depends on what you want to use. I'm going to show you the easiest grind, in my opinion, with the silver shifting upgrade. You can use BPM. You've probably heard it a million times from other people. Oh, spam BPM packs. Put them in the prime bronze upgrade to get yourself the silvers for the silver squad. And then get the bronzes here. You can do that if you're trying to craft out the silver shifting upgrade. I'm going to show you an easier way to get this done. Um, and if this is useful, let me know down in the comments because um, it's a good trading tip as well. So for the bronze squad, first and foremost, if this is your first run through, um, use whatever cards you have in your club that are bronze. I have a mix of some bronze rare and some bronze commons from doing BPM in the past and just opening packs. But after you get this done, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these. Um, you're going to submit this and you get six rare players back all bronze rare and then if you do the silver squad as well you get another six players so in terms of the bronzes you get back you get 12 bronzes just for completing these two sections which means your next run through so, since you can do this 10 times a day you will not need to buy a single bronze player you can just open those two packs and out of the 12 players you get you can throw 11 back into the sbc and you do that over and over the only thing you really need is the silver squad. Now, there's a couple different ways people do this. Like I said before, some people have been spamming BPM and then putting the bronze players into the prime bronze upgrade to get five silver rare players, making those packs, putting those untradeables into the silver shifting upgrade. You can do that if you want. That is a lengthy process. It does take a lot of time. I'm going to show you a shortcut um, how I usually get this done. So there's three different card types you can use here, or I guess technically four. Um, we're going to go over three though. So if you go to quality, you go silver. Um, you're going to see that every single card is currently going for 500 within the hour, silver common and silver rare. So what you can do here is if you wanted to, let's say, double your coins, you could put a max price of 250. You see all these open bids for under a minute. You can mass bid 250. Let's say you do this for 22 plus cards because you need 11 for that SBC. If you're doubling your coins, that means you could put 11 in the club to use. You sell on 11 to double your coins. You're basically break even. You do have a little bit of EA tax, so you'd probably want to bid on like 25 cards and do that for, but you do that 25 times 10 times a day. You would only have to bid on 250 silver cards and win them, uh, which should only take, I would say, probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Not a ton of time, and you could do that every single day. There's also another card, if you've been on the channel for a while, you can use that is extremely useful. It is Silver Libertadores. If you don't know what Silver Libertadores are, it's just Libertadores card. You can find it in the quality section, but these count as Silver Rare. So if you go to the market, you go Comedy Bowl Libertadores. I usually put a minimum price of 250 since Silver Rares have a minimum price of 250. I do a max price of 300. You can put a minimum buy now if you want. I'm going to do 500 to hopefully get rid of some bronze rares. Um, but anything that is, what, 64 and below is considered a bronze. Anything that's 65 to 74 is considered a silver. So you could come in here, bid 250 to 300. It's really up to you. There's going to be a ton of competition on these as well because people use them for league SBCs. And if you compare price, you're going to notice that some cards have way more value than just 500, 600. So if you guys are trying to make just some liquid coins as well, bidding on some of these open bid a little bit more than 250 or 300 could make you absolute bank, which then you could just buy silver players and complete that SBC. It is completely up to you. You also can chuck these Libertadores cards into the SBC if you wanted. Silver Libertadores do count towards the SBC. Um, and yeah, you just do that over and over. Bid on the cards, store the ones in your club that you want to use. Um, sell the rest on for profit or break even or for a little bit of a loss. However your goal is, you submit it into the SBC. I just had some silvers laying around untradeable that I'm going to put in and boom, you get the silver shifting upgrade, which is 12 players 
Um, or is it 11? Is it 12 or 11? Let me double check. <laughs> I can't even remember. It is 11 players, one of them being rare. Then you're probably not going to pack anything crazy out of this. If you do sweep, then you're just going to take these cards out of the 11. You're going to put nine back into the 80 plus double upgrade SBC. You just do that over and over every single day. And like we talked about, you can then open these two packs. You get six players in each, 12 silver or bronze rares right there. You chuck them back in the bronze section and you rinse and repeat over and over and over. Um, what do you do once you get the 10 done a day if you still want to keep grinding? Um, there are a couple different methods you can do. You can keep doing the mass bidding um, on the silver libs, flipping them for profit. And then if you wanted to maybe, um, I don't know, put some of those into uh, this pack over here. Um, where is it? Prime silver upgrade. Get yourself six common gold players. Chuck them in there. Um, do that two times. You get 12 players, which means you can do the SPC once. And then you have another three ready to go for the next run. Then you do one more pack. So three prime silver packs total um, would get you 18 players. Makes you able to do the 80 plus double upgrade twice. That is something you can do if you want. Um, I would recommend doing the 10 a day and then just taking a break, chilling, getting off FIFA, enjoying the summer. Uh, but if you want to keep grinding, that is an option. Another thing you could do is the premium mixed league upgrade. We have a video in the description if you want to see how we grind league SBCs. You're going to get a ton of gold common tradable, gold rare tradable, gold common untradable, and gold rare untradable that you can just keep putting back into these league SBCs um, to do over and over and over. And then the off league ones, so like let's say you pack an MLS player, whether it's a gold rare or gold common, you can chuck those into the 80 plus double upgrade and do that SBC over and over after you've already done the 10 silver shifting upgrades. But what I would recommend is if you're going to do this grind, maybe just wait to do the next 10 the next day. Maybe start getting more of your silver lib bids, flip those for profit. That way you can get the 10 done quicker the next day. You're ready to go. Maybe do some BPM on the side if you want to have some bronze commons in your club. Maybe you hold on to those bronze rares because we know once this SBC goes away, there's probably going to be another icon SBC coming out um, after those 18 days where the first two sections, you need a full bronze rare team. Second one, you need a full silver rare team, which will usually send bronze rare prices up. Um, if they're currently not even selling for 200 within the hour, you could pick them up for 150 on bid. These usually raise to 400 to 600 coins. You could easily double or triple your coins just by holding on to those tradable ones that you're getting from those packs um, every single day from the silver shifting upgrade. Or if you want to mass bid 150, like we just said, it could be a good investment to get bronze rares closer to the end of those 18 days. Um, also, there could be a daily SBC. We've seen it before with the shapeshifter daily SBCs where you don't need a high rated squad. I believe the day one, you needed a 65 rated squad for shapeshifter challenge. Um, and then you needed a certain amount of rares. Yeah, this would be one that is perfect for using a bunch of bronze rares. That could throw the price crazy up of bronze rares for a limited amount of time. Um, during these 18 days, it's going to be hard to see those rays quite a bit, even with an SBC like that, just because you get so many tradable um, and everyone's doing that SBC over and over and over. Um, but yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to let me know. I'm going to wrap up the video there. I'm not going to take forever. We're not just going to drag it on. Um, yeah, we'll be going over this on stream as well. I'll be opening up at least 50 of them. I already got at least, I think, 15 done. Uh, we'll get the Bomba done in these next couple days, and hopefully we'll have an Icon SBC that we can hopefully get a good Icon. Finally, we've gotten so many duds. Uh, we got Cruyff, that was a good one, but besides that, it's kind of been a bunch of L's recently. But yeah, we will see you next time. It's been a